controversial movie to come out in theaters is the Little Mermaid remake. I'm talking about movies that came out this year. Okay, not of all time. There's definitely so many controversial movies that were released. But out of all movies, this is probably the most controversial release so far of this year that came out in theaters. The Little Mermaid is getting a remake. Again, most of Disney's remakes are complete garbage. Okay, you know. Yeah. And we all know no one's going to be watching in China. Yeah. Okay. And The Little Mermaid does like Peter Pan. There's so many Little Mermaid movies. Of course, of course you have the Disney one. Then you have all of the other Little Mermaid movies. Same thing with Peter Pan. There's so many Peter Pan movies. There's so many Pinocchio movies. Like, why do you guys keep recycling the same fairy tales over and over and over again? Like, why can't you guys think of something new? Like, I bet if the... And I bet the only reason why they're making it the real Mermaid story is because they know if it was a generic story, okay, no one would watch it, okay? No one would care, okay? Because there is a lot of way of being a part of a franchise, okay? You'll be able to get all those people who are familiar to come and see it, okay? But apparently, it's going to make $150 million plus. So, was all the backlash worth it? Clearly, it's just ignored. It's the same thing. And this is very similar to Captain Marvel. Okay? Captain Marvel was supposed to open like $110 million, $120 million. But Captain Marvel's projections kept going up and up and up. Because people... Because there was a phrase that says, All pre press, good or negative, is still... Good press. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying, basically? You know, all attention is still attention. It's still going to grab people to get get the attention towards the movie. Okay. Basically, the whole thing is all press is good press. Okay. Sometimes controversies can make something more popular. Even if the thing is a piece of garbage. Like the Queer Patch or so on, you know, Netflix, Cuties, obviously. And Captain Marvel, which Captain Marvel, I seen the movie. Okay, Captain Marvel was god awful. Okay, it was basically it wasn't as bad as something like Quantumania. Okay, but Captain Marvel, it's like the the worst part of Captain Marvel was the acting. Okay, it was like they made a parody of Superman. Okay, and made it worse. Okay, that's what Captain Marvel basically is. Okay. They basically made it like a parody of Superman. Okay. Basically, oh, you know, uh, Captain Marvel, she doesn't need to have a personality. Okay. She doesn't need to be her own character. Ultimately, okay, basically Captain Marvel was, Captain Marvel was a strong woman and you have to like her. Not give her a personality or anything, you know, that, you know, audiences can resonate with. But even with the whole thing, the whole controversy made Captain Marvel made it open to $150 million. And now we're going to be having Will Murray open to $150 million. Okay. That's what I said yesterday. Stop buying these movies. If you really hate Disney remakes so much, stop buying them. Okay. Stop buying these movies. Okay. Stop giving them money. And then we won't have a Will Murray 2. We won't be having a Lion King 2. We won't be having an Aladdin 2. Because you guys keep buying tickets to see these Disney remakes. You guys... The so-called culture war people, I would have fought by the first line because they talk, talk about empty feeders. Yeah, because you guys are the first in line to see Captain Marvel. You guys are the first in line to see the Lion King remake. You guys are the first in line to see Toy Story 4, the Aladdin remake. Despite you guys hating Disney so much, guess what? This movie's going to make $150 million because you guys keep giving, you know, yeah, okay. Is expected to open to a million, which is pretty bad. So at least foreign audiences do not give a shit about this movie. At least the sky is missing much smart enough to realize this these remakes are garbage. Okay. You know. At least the international audiences are at least starting to see that stuff like the Royal Mermaid remake is garbage. That they don't need to obligate themselves to watch. The Royal Mermaid remake. Okay. And then there's better movies. 
coming out the horizon. And also there's Fast X, which is going to really damage this movie's box office internationally. Okay, Fast X is probably going to be one of the biggest international hits of the year. Okay, the movie is, you know, outperforming the domestic market so much, okay, that it's probably going to beat the Royal Mermaid internationally this week. Okay, domestically will probably be on par with the Royal Mermaid's opening if the, if the numbers are true. But the fact that they're giving, people are going to give this trash $150 million, it's just sad. Okay, there's so many better, again, there's so many better movies to give a $150 million opening to, like John Wick Chapter 4. Well, the people went to go see John Wick Chapter 4. Mario movie actually got a $200 million opening. Okay, Mario got a $200 million opening, but it is not going to be Top Gun, okay, or Pirates, okay? But the fact that, you know, this movie is going to make $120 million on its first weekend, it's just sad because there's just so many better movies coming out, okay? Internationally, this movie's going to struggle. You have Spider-Verse coming out next week. You have Transformers, which Transformers is huge internationally. You have The Flash coming out, okay? All those movies are going to not give this movie any legs internationally, okay? Spider-Verse, okay, which Spider-Verse also has representation in it. So, and Spider-Verse at least has a track record to being a sequel to a movie that people actually liked. At least Spider-Verse is actually a sequel to a movie that people actually like. And isn't a soulless live action remake that no one asked for. So that's going to be a big problem for Real Mermaid. I think Real Mermaid is going to have a big drop off because of this movie. Because this movie is coming out. Transformers is also coming out. And Flash is coming out. Elemental is going to come out but no one's going to watch that obviously. But this movie is tracking to... 80 million opening, and I wouldn't be surprised if this movie even goes up to 100 million. The first movie opens with like 30 million. Okay, 30 million. Okay, which Royal Mermaid is not gonna do too well internationally. It sounds between fast actors is gonna do really well internationally. Still, could probably be making money internationally when Spider Verse comes out. Okay, Spider Verse will probably beat Fast X internationally that week. But Real Mermaid is going to be the big loser of international because Spider Verse will be coming out. People will be wanting to watch that instead. Okay. And people care so much about diversity in movies. Oh, Spider Verse is coming out. Spider Verse is coming out. Oh, oh, it is. It's expected to do double the first movie. V. As well. Despite, you know, you know, the movie, you know, them, you know, shoving wokeness into the second movie. V. Still probably going to make money. Okay. Then we have Transformers coming out. Okay. Transformers is also expected to open the $70 million domestically. Which is not even including the international sales. It's not even including China. Within China, the movie is tracking very well. Okay. Which means, I don't know the budget for this movie. Okay. I don't know the budget for this movie, but the movie is expected to open to $70 million. Whereas this is, this is outdated numbers here. This is outdated. They're saying the movie's going to open to $70 million. Okay. And that's not even going to, that's not even including the international sales. Okay. That's even including the international sales. Not even including China. We're still releasing this movie in China as well. They were reading this in China too, so it's gonna probably make three hundred million dollars, two hundred million dollars in China alone. So we got that money in. Okay, now you just need to get the money in the other set countries. Okay, they were actually under tracking this movie. Okay, they were actually under tracking this movie, and they're also doing well in China. Okay, doing better than the last night and Bumblebee. They're doing better than both of those movies. So, Transformers is apparently going to get a rebound. Okay. Then, let's look at The Flash. How is The Flash expected to perform? They have Elemental as expected to flop. 
Okay, frass. Do they have numbers for the frass? Oh, it's going to open to $140 million. Okay. Which, again, is competing with Transformers, which will probably drop big because of Flash. Elemental is going to bomb. I don't know why they put... I, I find that Flash is supposed to release a week after Elemental. They said, okay, fuck Elemental. We're going to put it on the same day as Elemental. And screw over Pixar. Okay. We're going to screw over Pixar, basically, essentially. Okay. We're going to screw over Pixar. Because this movie's going to open to $140 million. This is going to be the real moment. <laughs> This is gonna this is gonna be Aquaman. <laughs> this is gonna be a billion dollars. And I don't think it go that far. I think Mrs. Impossible will make a billion dollars. Okay. Considering how popular Tom Cruise is at the moment. Okay. Mrs. Impossible will almost certainly make a billion dollars. Flash I think Flash and Mrs. Impossible are almost certainly gonna make a billion dollars. Okay. You know. The Transformers won't make a billion dollars. Uh, I don't think it will. It's going to make a lot of money in China. Okay. Okay. They were underestimating this movie's box office. And now all going to say, be, going with pre-sales, going to make $68 million to $70 million. Because that, cause that, they go with these tracking based on pre-sales. And they said they were under-tracking Transformers. That's what they said. They were under-tracking the movie. Okay. And. Yeah. Will Moore made it screwed. Either way. Even if it, even if it opens to $150 million. Okay. They're still going to make. Uh, you know. They're still going to make a lot of money in China, okay? Fast X is making a lot of money in China, too. Okay, Fast X. Okay, Royal Mermaid is going to bomb in China. It's 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 going to lose all that potential money, okay, in China. What is the budget for the Royal Mermaid? Okay, 72%. $250 million. So they spent $250 million. So this movie needs to make $600 million globally to break even. Okay, that's the amount of money it needs to do to break even. Okay, so if this movie passes $600 million globally, this movie is not a box office failure, obviously. But if it, you know, for example, Quantumania was, that movie was complete ass. Okay, it was complete garbage. Okay, you know, Quantumania was complete ass. It was complete garbage. Okay, you know, and people are having the same complaints of this movie, that this movie is too dark. Like, they can't see it. Okay. People have the same complaints of Quantumania. I'm not going to want to watch a movie where you can't really see the characters. Quantumania had the same exact problem. Okay. Like, the, if you look at the trailer, the movie works pretty... Like, it looks like they turned down the visuals. Okay. Like, on a video game, it's like they, they took the visuals and dimmed it so you can't see anything. Like, really? Okay. And it's going to bomb in China because Fast and the Furious is bigger. Okay. So, it is going to do horribly in China. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No one's going to watch this in China. It's, it's going to make no money in China. Okay. Fate, Fast and the Furious X is going to destroy Real Mermaid in China. Okay. But, it's just so sad that people are going to give this movie a lot of money. $180 million global stock. That actually isn't really that great if you look at it because apparently that's going to include $120 million for the four day, which means this movie's going to only make $60 million internationally. That's sad. Okay, that's sad. $60 million internationally. This is going to be another right year if that's true. Okay, which means this amazing, quote unquote, amazing opening, which again, it's a movie that doesn't deserve a $100 million opening, but. It's gonna, it's gonna be, you know, destroy, cannibalize the Spider Verse and Transformers and Flash, which are all expected to have good openings relatively to the franchise. Okay, Transformers that's compared to the Rat and Bumblebee. Okay, uh, Spider Verse is gonna double the first movie, and Flash is gonna open to 140 million dollars. Okay, there is no way this movie is gonna make a billion dollars with that competition. 
Okay, no way <laughs> Real Mormon is gonna have is gonna be okay. It's gonna have it's the it's basically this movie they're gonna put all the eggs into one basket, the opening, okay. If it really is that bad, and it like drops like sixty percent, and it only makes like eighty million dollars, this is gonna be pretty bad for this movie, because I'm predicting this movie's gonna drop sixty to seventy percent because of Spider Verse. I think that you know Fast X also will eat into those totals still, making another fifteen to twenty million dollars domestically, okay. This movie is gonna hurt a lot, because, like Quantumania. So this is gonna have a Quantumania opening. This is gonna this is gonna open very similar to Quantumania. It's basically it's gonna it's gonna probably perform like Quantumania, okay? Which means it's gonna lose money. Which will be funny to see, okay? Because you have to look at this competition, okay? I employ people to stop buying Disney remakes. Okay, you know, I implore people to stop buying Disney remakes and they'll stop being made. That's simple. Okay, well, this movie could have been an original story. They could have made this an original story featuring original characters. I think no one would have been complaining. Oh, this movie's an original story. Okay, instead of, you know, you know, changing an original story, instead of changing the story that, you know, there's so many Little Mermaid remakes. In movies, but kind of like Pinocchio and Peter Pan, okay, but they could have easily made this an original live action story, okay I think everybody would have been happy if it was a original live action story, okay, no one would be, oh yeah no one would be complaining, but they had to make it you know, the same story they made in 1990, I think Little Mermaid came out in 1990 or 1989 doesn't matter what they am saying, but now I'm not too surprised that they'll that they'll say that's awful opening. In America, it isn't an awful opening. But $180 million, including $120 million it's supposed to make, that's pretty bad. Even if it, if it opens to $150 million, and, and let's just say it made $210 million opening, that's Quantumania opening, okay? They're not going to have the same thing like they did with Aladdin, like happened with Aladdin, okay? That was a fluke, okay? Because the movie that came after Aladdin were complete trash, okay? Okay? The movies that came after Aladdin, you know, out of Godzilla King and the Monsters, were complete, you know, trash. They underperformed. Okay. Godzilla came out. Uh, Pets 2 underperformed. Doc Phoenix did, did a biz movie. Man Back International, probably the worst Man Back movie. And apparently the general audiences loved Aladdin. Okay. So much, well, it was performing relatively well throughout the upcoming weekends. As well, especially internationally. You had Toy Story 4 come out. You had Annabelle Comes Home. But Disney's not going to have that work this time. Okay. Disney's not going to have that work this time. Okay. They're not going to have that work with the Royal Mermaid. Okay. Yeah. You have all these movies coming out. Augie the Cockroaches, the movies. You have Spider-Verse. Transformers. The Flash. These movies. India Jones and Ruby Gillum. And then you even go, go into dry of insidious, Miss Impossible, Bobby Oppenheimer. Uh, we won't worry if I even be in fetus by then, but <laughs> it's going to be like, like $2 at that point. But these movies are going to destroy Little Mermaid, okay? Because unlike Guardians of the Galaxy, which people actually like that movie, Guardians of the Galaxy will also be eating into Little Mermaid's box of us still. Guardians of the Galaxy will still be out, and Fast X will still be out, eating into Royal Mermaid's numbers. I wouldn't be... It's not going to open to $150 million, okay? It's not... Everybody's saying $120 million. It'll probably even underperform because Guardians of the Galaxy will still be out, eating into those numbers a bit. Fast X will still be out, eating into those numbers. And even Mario will still eat into those numbers, okay? Because Mario is still in feeder still, okay? How much is Mario making? $9 million? It'll probably make another like six to seven million as well. No, it's probably like five million. Okay, Guardians of the Galaxy is still making money. It'll probably drop another fifty percent. Fast X well, is doing okay. It'll probably drop like sixty to fifty. It'll probably drop half. I think it'll probably drop half to like thirty to forty million. Thirty to forty million. Okay. 
But Fast X is actually having okayest ranks for a big movie. Okay. Usually a big movie drops 80%. Okay. Like, guy, like people who complain, like, Black Widow dropped 80%. Oh, like Guys of the Galaxy dropped 72%, but dropped 50, 48% at second weekend. Okay. Black Widow, that's, diff- that's a different movie that performed differently. But Guys of the Galaxy 3, it's because people actually like the movie and actually like the characters. That's why the movie is performing so well. Okay. I want the guy of the Galaxy made 666 million. <laughs> it really made 66 million at the current moment. But it will probably be it will probably not make a billion dollars, obviously. But Guys of the Galaxy, you need to make six hundred million dollars to break even. Okay. If Will Mermaid performs like Quantumania, which we'll be comparing Will Mermaid to Quantumania. If it drops like Quantumania. Which it probably will. In Quantumania. If it drops like Quantumania, <laughs> Disney's screwed. Because 70% drop is not good. If it opens to $100 million and then drops to like $40 million, that's awful. Okay. And Quantumania, that was... Ugh, that movie was awful. <laughs> it literally was awful. And then they released Quantumania and defeat us for some reason. I don't know. I, I feel bad for the people who watch that. <laughs> but this is the reason. Quantum. It's because Quantum Bay was a bad movie. That's why it dropped so badly. Okay. And you got the, this. This. Uh, you had all these movies eating into each other's box office. Shazam dropped sixty nine percent. Sit percent. But I actually thought this was a good movie. Shazam: Fury of the Gods. Gods, that movie is gonna. That movie is picking up. Fortunately, the movie is picking up a life on streaming, so streaming is gonna save this movie, at least somewhat. Same thing with Dungeons and Dragons. <coughs> streaming is gonna save Dungeons and Dragons and uh, Fury of the Gods. I don't think little movies is gonna be saved by streaming. Okay, cause there are lots of movies that bomb and lose money, and then they so do so well on streaming. I think it's gonna be the same thing of Honor Among Thieves. It's gonna do pretty well on Paramount. Which is the publishers of this movie. Okay. And I wouldn't be surprised to get a sequel series on Paramount Plus. Okay. You know. Sequel series on Paramount Plus. They can, if this movie does really well on Paramount Plus. They can just easily make a sequel series exclusively to Paramount Plus. They, can, they don't have to release it in theaters. But yeah. No one really went to go see this movie. And people like ain't like pissed that no one went to go see this movie in theaters. And it will likely become a cult classic movie. Very similar to Arita Battle Angel. Which came out in 2019. But unlike Dungeons and also both Arita and Dungeons Jackets on Among Feeds lost money. But Arita found a wife on streaming and they're even now making a sequel to Arita because of how well it did on streaming. Same thing with Spider Verse. Spider Verse did really well on streaming too. Okay. That movie has garnered a cult audience too. So this is a list of cult classic films. Let's see if Spider Verse is on here. I don't think I see Spider Verse. Yeah, I don't see Spider Verse. I'm surprised Spider Verse isn't on here. They have Star Wars on here. No, the Mario movie is not a cult classic movie. It's a mainstream movie. I think they removed Shrek. I think Shrek was on here and they removed Shrek. Oh, they have Shrek on here still. Yeah, even though Shrek is a mainstream movie, there's still Shrek, Shrek as a movie. And, and that's all the whole Shrek series has a cult following. I think it would be the same thing with Puss and Boots. If Puss and Boots flopped, it would, it would have definitely been on here. Essentially. Puss and Boots, the last list. But let's see if Dungeons and Dragons is on here already. (laughs) 
But we know Quantumania is not going to be in here. Because no one likes that movie. Okay, no one really... Actually, I met a few people who said it was a good movie. But most people don't like Quantumania. Because it's complete... It's, it's just a bad movie. I want to see if Cars is on here. I want to see if someone added Cars on here. Probably not, but... Yeah, don't want to add Cars. I'm surprised Cars is on here. Oh, you can sort by yeah. So you have yeah, cocaine bell, cocaine bell is on the list. Yeah, this is much easier. You have <laughs> yeah, I actually added Booksmart to this list because all the critics kept saying it was a cult classic, but no one talks about Booksmart. No one cares about that movie. But yeah, Dungeons and Dragons is gonna probably be on here. It's funny, everything everyone all wants is on here, even though it won Best Pixar. We're not looking at all these movies now. Jungle Book is on here? Who put the Jungle Book on here? Usually the ones without a source, I will move Megan's on here. I'm surprised that's considered a cult classic movie. They removed Pikachu. I had Detective Pikachu here and they removed it. Yeah, but yeah, I think I I think someone added snack size this week to this first. But yeah, I added the first zombie. I was like, why I added the first zombie man to the list? Yeah, no, for some reason the second one was on here, but not the first one. Do we remember adding that one? But yeah, that is it about this video, about this long video. Yo, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I if you watched this whole video, well, I, I'm sorry if I wasted your time with this whole video. But yeah, that's pretty much this video here. Goodbye.